The film that grossed over $288 million worldwide and is based on Veronica Roth's teen novel is back for a sequel. Currently trending at the top of Twitter, Insurgent, the second of the Divergent series, opens this weekend on the 20th of March with a short-haired Shailene Woodley back and she's holding a gun. This may hit readers as odd due to the character Trissa's issues with the handheld weapon since shooting her pal in the first instalment. Chatting to The Hollywood Reporter, Veronica Roth said this was a necessary deviation from the novel. Having an action movie in which the heroine can't hold a weapon leads to the whole movie being about her not being able to hold a weapon. They found other ways for her to express her emotional state, which was the entire purpose of the gun issue. Speaking of weapons, another cinema release is Gunman, where Sean Penn gives Liam Neeson a run for his money. Not literally, this isn't a Neeson movie, but it is from the director of Taken. Long story short, a sniper's kill shot forces him into hiding, only to become the target of a hit squad himself years later. I think Sean Penn can do no wrong. A couple of indie titles that caught my eye are Do You Believe and Kumiko, The Treasure Hunter. The first is a Christian drama with some recognition recognizable names, Mira Sorvino, better known as Romy from Romy and Michelle's High School Reunion, and Sean Astin, otherwise known as Samwise Gamgee. While the second involves a jaded Japanese woman who believes a hidden copy of the 1996 film Fargo on VHS is a treasure map to a large case of money.